Students inside Bangladesh are still defiant after the prime minister resigned and fled the country and after the army chief said that an interim government would be formed. A student protest leader in Dhaka, in fact, told CNN that, quote, the movement is not over and that the next step is, quote, to abolish the fascist systems forever. Now, student protest organizers are now calling for an interim government under the Nobel laureate Mohammed Yunus. I want you to watch this. We have given our blood. We have been martyred. Our vision of forming a new Bangladesh will now have to be realized. Uh, meanwhile, the president of Bangladesh is promising to consult all parties on an interim government and has announced the release of detained student protesters as well as an opposition leader. Now, after the prime minister, Sheikh Hasina, fled the country, huge crowds took to the streets in Dhaka. Let's bring up the video for you. And in this aerial video, you can see the numbers, you can see the scale of these protests, thousands just taking to the streets of Dhaka. Meanwhile, thousands also stormed the prime minister's official residence. And in this additional video, you could see people breaking into and vandalizing what was once a highly protected government compound. Now, all this upheaval comes after some of the worst violence that Bangladesh has seen in decades. Earlier on Monday, armed forces opened fire with live rounds on protesters in the capital. Last month, about 150 people were killed during clashes and protests. And all this turmoil, it began last month when students wanted an end to this controversial quota system for government jobs. That then spiraled into a wider campaign to oust the prime minister. And right now, the political fate of Bangladesh is unclear. A protest leader says that student representatives will be meeting with the army chief this afternoon, a meeting that is expected to take place around 2 p.m. local time. Back to you, John. Also a situation where, you know, the internet has been cut off for some time, which essentially means the country's isolated. Um, what about the, any concerns there are about the fate of those inside, those opposition leaders, uh, and, you know, the actual student protesters themselves? Uh, a lot of concern about the fate of the protesters, about opposition leaders. We've heard voices from all around the world calling for calm and restraint, including from the United Nations. We also heard from the UN Secretary General calling for the respect of human rights. Um, we also heard from the World Bank saying it's hoping for a swift and peaceful resolution to this political turmoil. The White House has also weighed in, urging for a democratic formation of an interim government. Um, it also commended the army of Bangladesh for restraint. And we're still trying to get a, a picture of the situation inside the country this day to see how much violence is taking place even after the exit, the dramatic exit of the prime minister. Uh, meanwhile, I also want to add that the U.S. Embassy in Dhaka is advising all U.S. citizens who are still in the country to shelter in place. It says that further violence in Bangladesh is possible. John. Christy, thank you. Christy, start live for us in Hong Kong with the very latest. Thank you.